What if we told you that everything around you, your life, your memories, even the laws of physics might not be real? Not just in a whoa dude, reality is an illusion kind of way, but in a hard science says we might be living in a programmed simulation kind of way. According to one physicist, the universe itself may be proving that we are living in something artificial. Join us today on the Infographic Show to find out just what in AI's name we're talking about. Entropy and Information Let's kick things off with something nice and simple, the second law of thermodynamics. Buckle up, because this mind-blowing law of physics is why, no matter how hard you try, your life is doomed to spiral into complete and utter chaos. This is because entropy, which is just a fancy word for disorder, is always increasing. The universe is like a toddler with a box of Legos. It loves making a mess, and once it's made one, it's not going to clean it up anytime soon. That's why your hot chocolate turns cold, why buildings crumble over time, and why your bedroom looks like a crime scene by the end of the week even though you totally meant to keep it clean. Basically, the second law of thermodynamics says that the universe hates order. It is not that things can't be neat and tidy, it's just that keeping them that way takes effort. You can spend hours cleaning your room and five minutes later, a single missing sock, a messy set of bed sheets, or that empty Doritos bag on your desk have completely wrecked the place again. That's entropy in action. The only way to fight it is to constantly pump energy into the system, microwave your cold drinks, rebuild the broken stuff, or, you know, actually pick up after yourself. But here is where that starts to matter, because a physicist named Dr. Melvin Vopson just dropped a new theory that says information doesn't follow that rule. Instead of getting messier over time, information actually organizes itself. Patterns in data, structures in nature, even the way knowledge grows, all of it seems to be defying entropy rather than succumbing to it. It's getting more arranged, more optimized over time, like some unseen force is cleaning up the mess instead of making more of it. Which, if true, could mean that we're all living inside a cosmic version of The Sims. Imagine you spill a bag of Skittles on the floor. According to regular thermodynamics, those Skittles should stay scattered, unless you put effort into cleaning them up, or your mom tells you to. But Vopsen is saying that when it comes to information, the Skittles somehow start arranging themselves into neat, color-coded piles all on their own, which is not how messy random universes are supposed to act. In video games, code doesn't decay into chaos, it refines itself, updates, and gets optimized. If reality behaves more like a perfectly tuned algorithm than a random messy universe, then maybe it's not real at all. Maybe it's designed. Think about it, when you boot up Minecraft, the game doesn't generate a glitchy, unplayable mess. Sure, it is a bunch of random biomes, trees, and caves, pure raw entropy, but as you play, something weird happens. You organize it, you mine stone, you smelt iron, build houses, make farms, set up redstone circuits. Over time, your once random world becomes a structured, optimized system. You go from punching trees like a caveman to building auto sorters, XP farms, and ender dragon battle plans. That's just the way we battle entropy. That's the way things work in real life. But Minecraft is a bit different than real life. If you leave your Minecraft world alone, it won't decay. It'll just sit there, perfectly preserved, waiting for you to come back. No erosion, no trees randomly falling over, no endermen unionizing and overthrowing the villagers. Nothing. The physical world we live in is more like your island on Animal Crossing and your farm on Stardew Valley. Those are instances of simulated entropy. Leave your town alone for a while and when you come back, it's descended into chaos. There are weeds everywhere, crops are dying, the villagers act like you ghosted them, and there's cockroaches in your house. The game world actively degrades over time if you neglect it, just like real life. Minecraft, however, doesn't have built-in entropy. It's like a frozen snapshot of order, indefinitely stable unless something actively changes. It's perfect stasis, and in a way it mirrors how information in the universe seems to work, not breaking down into chaos like physics suggests, but instead evolving into more efficient ordered systems. Every update Mojang releases also follows this pattern. More features, better mechanics, refined gameplay. If the universe is like Minecraft or any game you play supported by a capable dev team, it's not just running on some random physics engine, it is actively updating, refining, and organizing itself over time. So the real question is, who is Mojang in this scenario? If the informational basis of our universe is more like Minecraft than we think, then who is the admin? If the universe doesn't behave like a messy bedroom and break down over time, is it actually real, or is it some super advanced simulation? And if we really are in a simulation, do we even have free will, or are we just NPCs with really good dialogue trees? 
Now you might be thinking, cool, so we live in the Matrix, no big deal, right? Wrong, because if Vopsin's right, this also raises a terrifying question. What happens when a simulation runs out of storage? Think about your phone. When it's out of memory, apps crash, files disappear, and worst case scenario, it just freezes and dies. If the universe really is a giant program, what happens when it starts running out of data? Do things start glitching? Or worse, could we just get deleted? Do we get a blue screen of death for reality itself? So yeah, this isn't just some nerdy physics debate, it could be the biggest existential crisis in human history. Either way, we just uncovered the code behind the universe, or reality is about to get a massive software update, and we have no idea what happens next. Ironically, the idea that our entire universe might be a massive program running on some incomprehensible supercomputer is nothing new. Simulation theory, as it's called, is an old concept. And we're about to dive in, but don't worry, we promise not to make your brain explode too much. So let's start with a big scary question. What if nothing you see, hear, or experience is actually real? This isn't just some late night dorm room conversation fueled by too much caffeine. Scientists and philosophers have been chewing on this idea for centuries. Way back in 1641, René Descartes was already side-eyeing reality. He worried that some kind of evil demon could be tricking us into believing in a world that didn't actually exist. His whole deal was, what if literally everything I believe is fake? What if my senses, sight, touch, sound are all being hijacked by some cosmic troll? His only escape was to doubt everything until he found something that couldn't be faked. And the one thing he was 100% sure of was that he was thinking. Even if everything else was an illusion, the fact that he could doubt, question, and think about it meant that his mind had to exist. And that's where we get his famous mic drop line, I think, therefore, I am. Basically, Descartes was out here in the 1600s having an existential crisis, realizing that the only thing he could prove was real were his own thoughts. The rest of reality might be a glitch in the Matrix. Fast forward to the 20th century and along comes the Matrix, where Keanu Reeves learns that, yep, reality is just a super convincing illusion designed to keep us in line, and kung fu. In the Matrix, reality is just a high-tech simulation, and humans are trapped inside of it without realizing it. That fits right into the simulation hypothesis, which says our universe might be an artificial construct, like a super advanced video game. Even though the second law of thermodynamics says everything should get more chaotic over time, Vopsin's theory suggests the opposite might be happening. If reality behaves less like a decaying physical system and more like a structured self-organizing program, then maybe that's because it is a program. Maybe our universe is running on some cosmic level code instead of breaking down like real-world physics predicts. It's following simulation-like rules, where things get more efficient and organized over time. If entropy is supposed to be king, but information is getting cleaner and more structured, maybe that's because we are in the matrix, or at least something a lot like it. In 2003, philosopher Nick Bostrom took things up a notch with his famous simulation argument. He basically said there are three possibilities. First, civilizations never get advanced enough to create simulations because they wipe themselves out first. Second, they do reach that level of technology, but they choose not to run simulations, which, let's be honest, seems unlikely, considering that humans can't even resist making AI-powered video games. And third, advanced civilizations do create simulations, meaning the odds are we are already living in one. Option three is starting to look pretty likely. Elon Musk even jumped on this train pointing out how fast video games have evolved from Pong to hyper-realistic VR in just a few decades. He argued that it's only a matter of time before simulations become so advanced that we won't be able to tell the difference between real and fake. And if that's possible, then statistically we are way more likely to be inside of a simulation than the original universe. But this is all just philosophy, right? There's no actual science proving this, right? Well, if we were at a pro wrestling event, this is the point where Dr. Melvin Vopson would come and soar off the top rope like a cosmic prophet of destruction. Vopson isn't just questioning entropy, he is grabbing it, lifting it over his head and slamming it straight through the mat. His theory makes a compelling case that information behaves suspiciously like programmed code. But if we were inside a simulation, wouldn't there be glitches or bugs? Of course, and there are. Scientists have known about them for a while. What's interesting about Vopsin is that his theory could actually explain why the laws of physics seem suspiciously perfect for life here on Earth. Because let's be honest, space is a death trap, it's freezing, it's full of radiation, and it's about as welcoming as a Taco Bell bathroom. But somehow, 
On this one tiny little rock called Earth, the temperature, chemistry, and gravity are all set up just right for life to exist. Why? Scientists call this the fine-tuned universe problem. This basically means that if any of the fundamental forces of physics were just slightly different, the entire universe would collapse into a useless void. But instead, everything works out perfectly, as if someone or something fine-tuned it. Almost like how designers would tweak the difficulty settings in a video game to make sure the players wouldn't immediately die. And if that wasn't weird enough, quantum mechanics is already acting like a giant glitch in the matrix. Time for one of the most mind-bending, reality-breaking science experiments ever conducted. It's called the Double Slit Experiment, and it works like this. Scientists fire tiny particles like electrons or photons at a barrier with two slits, expecting them to pass through one or the other and leave a mark on a screen behind it. But when these particles aren't being observed, something bizarre happens. They behave like waves, seemingly passing through both slits at once and creating an interference pattern. It's almost as though reality hasn't made up its mind. But here's where it gets weird. The moment someone observes them, the particles stop acting like waves and behave like solid objects again. Yeah, this is real physics. Somehow the mere act of observation changes reality itself. Reality might actually change depending on whether or not someone is looking at it. Now let's go back to video games. When you're playing in an open world game, the system only renders what's in your field of view. Everything else stays in low res or it doesn't load until you get closer. This saves processing power by only generating what the player needs at any given moment. If the universe behaves the same way, only rendering when observed, then that's exactly what we'd expect if we were living inside a simulation. If the double slit experiment wasn't enough to fry your brain, quantum mechanics as a whole ignores common sense. At the atomic level, particles don't follow normal rules. They pop in and out of existence, teleport between locations, and seem to communicate instantly across vast distances. Scientists call this quantum entanglement. But for our purposes, let's just call it what it is, a glitchy physics engine. Particles can randomly pop in and out of existence, just like data loading and unloading. Electrons are able to exist in two places at once until measured, as if the system hasn't fully rendered their position yet and particles instantly affect each other across light years, like a physics engine cutting corners to keep reality running smoothly. Quantum mechanics defies traditional physics, but if reality is a programmed simulation, these bizarre behaviors start to make sense. Suddenly, it looks like a limited system struggling to keep up with processing power. Imagine someone hands you a giant book filled with the ultimate cheat codes of the universe, the mathematical equations that make everything work. You'd probably think, cool, some nerd wrote to explain this stuff, but here's where it gets weird. Nature doesn't just kinda follow these equations, it follows them perfectly. Gravity? Mathematical. Electromagnetism? Strict equations. Pi, Euler's number, and the golden ratio? They show up everywhere, galaxies, seashells, even sunflower seeds. The laws of physics are so precise that we can launch a tiny metal tube into space, let it travel billions of miles for years, and it lands exactly where we planned. That's not just luck, that's a system following perfect mathematical instructions. But where else do you see this kind of strict mathematical precision? That's right, video games. Everything always comes back to video games. So next time your mom yells at you to go touch grass, tell her that you are literally studying the fundamental nature of reality in Minecraft. Every game you've ever played runs on a coded system with built-in physics, collision detection, and gravity rules that keeps your character from falling through the world. In our universe, the tiniest particles obey the same math everywhere. It's like someone designed the laws of physics, hit run program, and then just let the whole thing play out. So, we're back to Vossen's paradox. Are we living inside the most advanced simulation ever created? Or did the devs just leave some easter eggs in the code for us to find? Let's assume Vossen is right. Our universe is just a gigantic, self-correcting computer program, and we are nothing more than data running inside a cosmic hard drive. If that's true, it raises some absolutely mind-blowing possibilities. Reality as we know it, matter, energy, time itself, might just be code. And before you roll your eyes and say, but I can still stub my toe on the coffee table so I must be real, think about this. Physicists already suspect reality is fundamentally mathematical. Nobel Prize-winning physicist Eugene Wigner called it the unreasonable effectiveness of mathematics in the natural sciences. Basically, math doesn't just describe reality, it is reality. Quantum mechanics behave suspiciously like computer processing. Remember the double-slit experiment and the particles that behave differently depending on whether they're being observed? 
Theoretical physicist John Wheeler proposed the idea of a participatory universe, suggesting that reality only exists when observed, exactly how a simulation would optimize resources. So, if we are just packets of data floating inside an ultra-complex system, then the real question is, who or what is behind the keyboard? Nick Bostrom argued that advanced civilizations will inevitably develop the ability to simulate entire universes. If so, it's statistically more likely that we are inside one of those simulations rather than living in the base reality. How many video games exist where NPCs live in a world where they believe it's real? Millions. If future civilizations have the ability to simulate entire histories, planets, and even consciousness, then why would they stop at just one? We could be one of billions of simulated realities. Or maybe our universe is just a science project for some higher dimensional species. Maybe they're testing how civilizations develop. Or maybe they're just watching us like we watch ants in an ant farm. If that's the case, we might all just be part of some alien teenager's Earth Simulator 3000, the intergalactic equivalent of The Sims. The other possibility? If a civilization is advanced enough to create a simulated universe and is indistinguishable from a god, then maybe traditional religious ideas were onto something all along. Philosophers like Plato, Descartes, even today's techiest of tech bros have all questioned whether an advanced creator, biological or artificial, might be responsible for the rules governing our existence. And honestly, that's a pretty humbling thought. But let's say, just for a second, that this is a giant program, not just a metaphor, not just a fun sci-fi idea, but an actual coded system running somewhere beyond our comprehension. There's one central problem. Every system has its limits. Take your phone for example. It's all good when it's brand new, smooth, fast, effortless. Then you start loading it up with photos, games, way too many memes, and all those new updates that you never wanted or needed. Suddenly, things start to lag, apps crash, storage fills up, and then one day something gets deleted just to make space. It's gone, disappeared from your phone's memory. Relegated to some invisible cloud you'll never see or find. What happens when the universe hits its processing limit? Quantum physics already hints at some strange glitches. Particles popping in and out of existence like corrupted files, time shifting based on observation, and space warping in ways that defy logic. Ever heard someone say that they saw a glitch in the matrix? A deja vu that felt too real? Maybe they aren't just tricks of the mind. What if they're actual bugs in the program? And then there are black holes, the universe's biggest mystery, and maybe its delete button. Stephen Hawking once suggested that black holes might not just swallow matter but erase information itself. If that's true, are black holes just the simulation's way of clearing out space like emptying the recycling bin? If this is a program, what happens when it crashes? Or worse, what if it doesn't crash, but it decides to optimize? Civilizations, people, entire histories could be erased, like old save files wiped out to free up processing power. And that leaves us with one unsettling question. If the simulation is real, how do we make sure the person running it doesn't pull the plug? Do you think we're living in a simulation, or is this just another wild theory? Could the universe as we know it be nothing more than code? Drop your thoughts in the comments. Now go check out Scientists Just Revealed What Happens When Light Slows Down, or click on this video instead.